the spectacle that is the Issa Chris Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships got underway earlier on Tuesday at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. A total of 69 boys schools and 68 girls teams are expected to compete with 88 events to be decided. There are no finals scheduled for today's opening day, but the official predictions are out. Now, this is the book that provides the best guide to what will happen over the next five days. But before we give you the predictions, let's have a look at the cover. Um, now, Lance and Mariah, on the cover here, you will see a number of athletes, which is a little bit different from when I started covering champs and when Lance covered champs, which was a long time ago. But then <laughs> you would have two athletes, the athlete that was expected to be the top boy and then the athlete expected to be the top girl. Yeah. And for me, going into champs, you would look forward to that because you would want to know who would be on the cover, who of, of all the big yeah. class one athletes going yeah. into the yes. event, who, who would they pick? I don't like this new thing where you just take four, five, six people and put them on the cover. I like um, it. You know why? It shows the amount of talent you all have here that it's difficult to pick one. And it takes mm. away the pressure from the two people on the cover. Mm. Let, let me just say that when I started covering champs, boys and girls champs were separate events. Yes, mm. we know that. You just added to what he said. <laughs> I couldn't save you there. There was, there was girls champs the first week, yes. and then the boys champs the following week. Yeah, yes, it came, anyway. all came together in 1998, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. But you didn't comment on the fact that it could be a good reasoning. That no, you, you're actually right. And I think a but large part of it is that they feel, I think sometimes they feel as if with just two athletes, it yes. puts too much pressure on them. And, and then if those athletes don't perform, um, it takes away from the cover. I don't know. But I just liked going to the opening morning of champs and seeing mm -hmm. um, them decide of all the big guns, yes. who is the biggest. Yes. Um, so... Yeah, just my disappointment. Anyhow, let's talk about the predictions then, shall we? Because, yes, it is opening day. Let's start with the girls. The official champs predictions. Edwin Allen winning the girls title, 310 points is the predicted tally. Ahead of Heidel, 285 points. And Homo Technical, 273 points. Let's look at a more detailed breakdown of how they expect things to go over the course of the five days. Remember, on day one, there are no finals. So let's look at day two. Edwin Allen expected to lead on the girls' side at the end of day two with 63 points. That's ahead of Homo Technical, 58. And Heidel expected to be well back after day two. So watch at the end of tomorrow, that's day number two, to see how these numbers stack up. Then at the end of day number three, which will be Thursday, Homo Technical expected to go in the lead with 108 points ahead of Edwin in 104. Heidel expected to have a really strong third day, but they are still expected to be in third at the end of that with 94 points. Then at the end of day four, that's Friday, Edwin Allen expected to lead on 158 points ahead of Homewood 145 and Heidel 122. And then at the end of it all, Edwin Allen expected to win with 310 points ahead of Heidel 285 and Homewood Technical 273. So as you can see there, Heidel expected to be in third position until the final day when they are expected to slip into second, just 12 points ahead of Homer Technical and stay there. Very, very interesting predictions on the girls' side. Here are the predictions for the boys. Kingston College predicted to beat Jamaica College by two points. By the way, people, that's really the predictor saying, we really don't know who is going to win. It's, <laughs> it's anybody's game. Too close game. to call. Too yeah. close to call. Then Calabar in third and two, 66 points. Let's look at the detailed breakdown for the boys then. Jamaica College to lead at the end of day number two. Five points ahead of Kingston College with Calabar back in third and 48 points. Then on day three, Kingston College to take the lead, 125 points. Seven ahead of Jamaica College, 118. Calabar to have a good day, but they remain third third on 93 at the end of day three then day four Kingston College to have their biggest lead 
185 points. The Jamaica College is 159 and the Calabar 131. And then Jamaica College expected to have a better final day, but Kingston College predicted to hold on by two points, 338 to 336. Calabar didn't get to 200 points last year when Kingston College and Jamaica College dominated. They're expected to get around the 260 mark this time around, the predictions saying 266. So that is how the Boys and Girls Championships um, title races are expected to play out for 2023. Lance Mariah, did you all see your favorites? Well, I mean, I don't have any favorites just yet. Pick a school, Mariah. Pick a school. Um, uh, if which I had which to color pick... do you like? Pink. <laughs> pick another color. Um, I would like to see Jamaica College win this year. Okay. All right. Mm. If that's okay. Blue. I don't mind if Edwin Allen win again as well. You're all Yeah, blue. well, they are blue as well. Okay. Just, just a lighter well, blue. Well, the school I went to, not Prima yeah. Girls, it's blue. So, there you go. The, the points projection, um, Ricardo, I think it is pertinent to point out the accuracy, historical accuracy yes. of these predictions, which are pretty solid, aren't they? Yeah, they are quite solid, Lance. Mm. Even if they get it wrong slightly, it's a very good guide as to what is going to happen. Um, I'm not going to say take it as gospel, yeah. but I'll say it, it's an excellent guide and it will be, if it's not exactly like this, it will be very close to it, I think. The really good predictions. I was impressed with how they went about doing it. For my part, I have JC winning and Edwin yeah, Allen winning. That's like me, and I didn't know that. No, you want JC to win. I have them to win. There's well, a difference. <laughs> well, he calls the races and he's there all the time. I'm just guessing. <laughs> all right, we'll be tracking the numbers for you throughout the course of this week as the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships is taking place at the National Stadium in Kingston. Over 100 non-Jamaican athletes, including athletes from the rest of the Caribbean, from St. Vincent to the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, all over the Caribbean. St. Martin, there's a class three boy from Calabar from St. Martin. He's really good. Watch out for him. We'll be keeping you to date throughout the course of the week. Take care. Interactive coming up. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.